Hello, hello. We got another fun one today. Um, and another one I don't use enough. We've got the Kapool. I love the Kapool. The Kapool is another one of those. So when the Kapool first came out and I was looking at it, other people got it and I looked at it. I'm like, oh, it's kit's perfect. I want this. I, I love the Kapool. So it's got a set of missiles in the front. Missiles stun when they stack. It's got a beam gun that uh, stuns when it stacks. And it's got fun melee because it's got weird stretchy arms. And it's just a funny little guy, too. Look at it. Uh, mine is... Oh, it's in my Juni colors, actually. I got a bunch of suits still in those colors because they're fun colors. They're, they're really good colors. So I just keep it on things and forget to change them out. Oh, I could make kabounce jokes out of this, actually. That would probably fly over the head of most people. I need to do a kabounce something. We, um... Yeah, so that was that was, that was was a shot. That shot worked. I'm kind of not glad I stunned an ally in that shot, but I'm glad I hit two people with it, and I jumped in to bail out my ally as well as I could because I hit him, and that's not great. Wanted to prevent him from taking damage as much as possible. But that was the other weapon I forgot to mention. So those are the beam guns I mentioned before. It's also got the charging beam cannon. Has to charge to fire, stops to move, stuff like that. But it's a sustained beam fire. It's, it's, it's a pretty cool weapon. You can see some of the distance on that melee as well. This match was also infuriating, by the way. Because we had the entire team save, I think, one guy. And it's him right there is in the what is it the engage zero there's two and i forget the exact names of both of them because there's like engage zero and then something else trying to do our best to pursue him we got a stun i'm not sure i think he's got a heavy stagger weapon i actually don't know what he's using looks like it's a barzam variant of some kind i'm not sure which one that is so i'm not sure what his kit is but we are probably aggressively pursuing trying to do what we can I can't tell if I got the stun because I got shot in the back by somebody else, so that's very frustrating. Right now, the scores are relatively even, but we're... We're we're taking a lot of heat. Oh yeah, but the enemy suits, right? The entire team is in the Engage Zero. Which one, I forget, because I forget what the names of the two of them are. It's the one with the boosters on it, though, instead of the one that doesn't. And it is fast, it has two melee weapons, it has, like, instant stun weapons. I'm pretty sure it can use them while boosting, too. That maybe was just the first engage. It's infuriating. You can see it's got that great sweeping downswing, too. We got a tackle on him. I wish we could have seen the tackle instead of being caught with the camera clipping through two of our allies at once. But we got it! So that's good. Trying to do my best to, to back up, deal damage, but we're getting stabbed in the back by the other Engage Zero. I think either because the allies died or allies were just moved. I'm not sure which. It's just a mess. You can see it's an absolute just chaotic mess, but we are going to get the kill on the guy that stabbed us, so that's good. But we're getting pressure from everyone else at, as well. And sadly, since that's not build stun on... I mean, not instant stun, it's build stun on that. We ended up getting stunned by somebody else, and he was still moving and could finish us off. Oh, it's got two stunning weapons. That's why it's annoying. That's the other... You can see he just swapped between bazooka and beam rifle. Again, his rifle does stun. It might be a charge stun situation. I'm not quite sure. I don't have this one. I have the other engage zero, but I don't have this one. So I'm not completely sure what its kit is. Just that I hate fighting it. Its melee patterns are really cool, though. I did not think I was going to get downswung by that one. I thought I was outside of the range. I'm glad his other one went right over my head, though, because that was just a little bit annoying. Looks like I got staggered by the enemy's explosion. I'm trying to do my best to stack some damage around my ally. Tried to charge up the beam gun, but that is actually the one problem with that gun is because it's charged like that because i can't move while charging all that stuff it can be hard you can't try and use it while you're under any sort of sustained fire you got to rely on your other weapons because it's, it's it's not getting charged right which i think is a fair balance considering how good it does but i'm also not good at planning it we're once again getting stabbed in the back this is why this one was annoying <laughs> 
This is going to be a match of me getting constantly stabbed in the back, pretty much. But ultimately, I think I still do well showing off Kapool's movements and gameplay. I do... I... Maybe it's not fair to say I do so well with this thing, but I very much enjoy using the Kapool. You can also see, like, our entire team is gathering around, like, a single target, which is also a problem in and of itself. Number four is having a hard time, because you can see he's getting attacked by this guy here, but there's also a guy on the ridge that's firing down on him. So I came in, tried to do my best to bail him out and help him out, but now I'm getting focused down by... Well, they took out my other ally, sadly, so I'm now getting focused down by actually three people. We got the two engages, the one right in front of me, the one on the ridge. I think that was the engage anyway. And then we got somebody else on top of the bridge all firing, and it's just a mess. Now, we only have the one command point, two, I believe. So that's the only spawn... Well, I more accurately, I should say, we don't have any of the beacons. I have to spawn in at the base. So it's difficult to spawn in ways that allow me more flanking ability. But yeah, the whole team's down now, so we're all just waiting to spawn in. Waiting for some other people to actually be ready so that we can come in full force. Um, now, well, I was about to say, now that like the one ally is out, he can start, but then somebody else dropped in, so now we all have to drop in. I would have preferred to have all of us ready to drop in at the same time, but I'm also going to move and do what we can. Here's a fail setup on this, too. Um, this was a bad spot to sit and do it because of the angle of that rocket. You can see I have limited firing angle there. I think that just smoked into the rocket, and that's why it didn't hit. Because it looked like I was aiming, and here we're just not paying enough attention to. That guy came out right in front of us, and we really should have switched targets to prioritize him rather than try to doggedly pursue the enemy. But we're now going to chase him down to try and back up allies a little bit here. Looks like he knocked both of them over, probably with his sweeping down, or not sweeping down swing, it's the double saber, so that, like, spinning. That's the sweeping one. Well, maybe he used that. I don't know what he used. He used one of them. But... We're able to capitalize. I don't think we're able to finish him just because, yeah, his iframes kick in too soon. Probably should have just tried to move in with melee or something like that. But we're going to try and bait out a reaction from him. And we did get a tackle kill as a result. So that is pretty awesome. But we're taking way too much damage from this guy here. We were able to stun, finish him off. Most likely, we're going to get ripped apart by this guy, though, because we are pretty wounded already. We are doing some decent damage. You can see that um, actually stacks a lot more than I expected it to. I'm trying to do my best to get my weapons reloaded while preventing him from getting a firing angle on us, which we did manage to do. Got a stun. Dodge rolled through his attack, and now are having an ally bail us out, so that's awesome. I was going to say trying to get something to attack with because we could have finished him off, but he also could have finished us off really easily as well, like that guy just did. So I'm glad my ally got that kill because, honestly, in that scenario, he probably would have gotten it instead. So just a, honestly, a rough match with all of those. And you're going to see the enemy team composition here. It's all the same thing. And it's all annoying. I don't like these things. On the plus side, with the entire enemy team being an entire enemy team of raids, that means I get great damage against everything. <laughs> because I get bonus damage against raids. But yeah, it was it was a little rough. You can see I I got good damage though at least. But oh man. I was glad to take the Kapool out. I'm glad with the damage. It, considering the circumstances, and considering how much think they were just on top of us constantly the whole time, I think I did pretty good. Um, I think we did okay overall. I think we probably could have done better if we were bunching up better, if we were not... Like, there were a lot of times in that match where the team would focus on singular targets, and I don't think that was a good call. Partially because what it allowed them to do with those big downswings is just knock everybody down at once, get huge damage, wipe the whole team, right? But also because when you're focusing on singular targets, that means, you know, 
three of you on one guy, that means, uh, for like, three of the enemy are doing whatever they want, right? When the whole team is targeting one person, the entire enemy team is shooting you in the back. It leaves you exposed, it leaves the enemy still moving. I've talked about this before, I'm pretty sure, too, so I'm gonna leave it at that, I think. But, yeah, Kapool. Kapool, fun. I think that match came out pretty good, actually, despite the loss, so there it is. But yeah, we'll, we'll get something else out for you pretty soon, and I will see you then.